There we go. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. We're down here on Lake Ontario today for some full salmon fishing. The fish are in a pre-spawn mode. We've got a very special guest on the show today with me, Sylvie Olin. Sylvie's a stand-up comedian. She's been uh, performing all over Toronto for the last year or so. Let's get this fish in so I can get him back in the water there. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful, eh? I've never seen something like that, eh? No? No. Never, never caught a salmon? Never, never. I guess never, saw never. lake trout up where you're from, right? Yeah, mostly lake trout yeah. and white fish. We've come down for some of these pre-spawn salmon that are moving into these back bays here. We're going to try for these guys a little bit earlier in the morning. It's just got light now. And uh, later on, once the salmon action dies off, we'll go in and uh, try for some of those pike in the back bays if you want. Right on. This week on Urban Outdoor Adventures, Sean and stand-up comedian Sylvie Olin demonstrate how to take advantage of windows of opportunity. They head out of a public boat launch located just 10 minutes east of downtown Toronto. The many bays scattered along the north shore of Lake Ontario offer some surprisingly fantastic fishing opportunities. These areas offer an array of fish species throughout the season. Anglers should target bays, marinas and tributaries. You simply never know what you might hook up with. Sean and Sylvie were on the water before sunup. This enabled them to be at their hot spot just as the sun began to peek over the horizon. In the first part of the show, they target post-spawn salmon at the mouth of a marina. Later in the show, Sean and Sylvie head further back into the marina to target aggressive early fall pike in the weeds. Having grown up in Inuvik in the Northwest Territories, Sylvie is simply stunned when she hooks into her first ever Chinook salmon in the heart of Toronto. She soon discovers that this urban fishery has a lot more to offer than the old tires and cans she had imagined. Sean will demonstrate some often overlooked destinations and techniques that are available to both boat and shore anglers alike, and very close to home. Many locations, such as the one featured today, are within reach of anyone living in and around our urban centers. Sean proves yet again that you don't have to go far to catch that trophy of a lifetime. This week's target species are Chinook Salmon and Northern Pike. Other species available, Rainbow Trout, Brown Trout, Small and Largemouth Bass, Carp, Drum, Perch, and Panfish. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website. You got the second one there? Okay, yeah. Perfect. You just drop that in the water, safest way. Beautiful fish. This time of the year is one of those situations classic situation of taking advantage of windows of opportunity. Today we're going to be going after these pre-spawn full salmon and later on we're going to go back into the bays there and go after for some northern pike. So uh, right let's on. get this guy back in the water. Want to give him a kiss? Sure. Hey, oh my gosh, you did it too. <laughs> there you go. That's the stuff. These fish are in here for probably four or five weeks max. When the salmon are in this pre-spawn mode like this, they will still hit a lure. So it's a great time of the year to come down and take advantage of these beautiful big salmon right in close to shore. You know, you've got all these guys out there trolling all summer, taking advantage of the excellent salmon fishery that we have here on Lake Ontario. Now's your turn to come down here. You can cast from shore, as you can see here, and get these fish very close to the bank. They like these jointed plugs, I can tell you. Wow. Oh, I thought he'd come off there for a minute. That sun's bright, eh? He's pulling pretty good. This is a fairly stiff uh, bass rod I got here. Let's see, he's pulling drag there. Staying down. All right. I'll come in the middle here so okay. we can chat. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. Whoa. He's beautiful. Yeah. I tell you what, if you get the chance, come down here and try some of these pre-spawn <laughs> full salmon. We're using bass tackle here today. We've got 14 pound test line, a medium action bait casting rod, and a good bait casting reel with a good drag system. And uh I tell you, it's a lot of fun. These big fish just hammer these baits. There we go. They're coming in here to spawn. And uh, you've probably got about four or five weeks to take advantage of this. It's also a great time for shore anglers to come in and take advantage 
of these salmon very close to shore. Look at that beautiful fish, eh? He is, eh? You were saying you don't uh, you don't get these up in the Northwest Territories. No, I well not where I'm from, but I've never seen a, a live salmon. I've never fished for salmon before. There we go. All right. That's Look a beautiful that. color, eh? Look at that. Yeah, out in the main lake in the summertime, they're actually bright silver. Look very much like a steelhead. Very silvery, uh, chromey glow to them. Mm -hmm. Once they come into spawn, they go through a sort of metamorphosis. You can see a bit of a hook forming on this fellow's face here. This oh, would yeah. be a male. Let's okay. see if you can get those hooks out of there for Let's me. Let's see if I can, totally. No, no. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. You got it. Look at you, eh? You're a pro with the pliers. Hey. There we have it. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Looks like he wants, uh, wants you to kiss him or something. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I can't believe you get me to do this, but you know, as you, uh, you've done it before for me, I think I'll uh, <laughs> accommodate you. There you go. Thanks, Mr. Salmon. Mrs. Mr. Salmon. All right. Let's get this guy back. Okay. I don't believe this. I give Sylvie my rod to use for a few minutes. You like that orange lure, eh? And you thought I was keeping that all to myself. I let her use my rod for a few minutes, and sure enough, she gets a fish. It's pretty yep. strong, eh? It is strong. Let me put my rod down here. I'll give you a hand. You know what? I need a hand. Yeah, I'm going to give you a hand. I, like, okay. I'd really I'd appreciate it if you could land it, <laughs> okay. actually. Really? Yeah. You're I a little worried with that? I'm, I'm worried about the You know what? You're going to land it because it's your fish. Just watch that motor there. Let's go okay. around this way. Okay. Let's just keep the pressure on him. Oh. Okay, keep the rod out there. And you can tell I'm taking it. He's just, he's just running, pulling eh? pulling line here on you now. So when he stops wow. like that? I'll bring the rock boat around, okay. we'll go around and just follow him a little bit there. This is better than those lake trout, isn't it? Yeah, way better. So he's like, uh... It's just going around in circles on us here. Let me see if I can, uh... I'm gonna just try and get oh, ahead of this him. fish here so we don't, uh... He's whoa, a beauty! Oh, that's a nice fish. That could be a 20 pounder right there. Sean, this is awesome. Oh, look uh, at the you know, size of that thing. <laughs> I'm impressed that there's fish here. I'm, in, I'm really impressed that there's... Look at that fish. I'm impressed how big he is. And actually, I'm telling you the truth, I, I can't believe that we're, like, here, like, beside the city and we're getting such big... Uh, we're fishing. I never thought there'd be fish here, to tell you truthfully. Right in the heart of Toronto, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Because I always think I have to be, you know, the north. I'm from the... Whoa! <laughs> was that good for you? Was, yeah. was that good for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We're getting tangled around okay, around the rods okay, here. Okay, okay. Here, I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, you. You I, have to talk to him nicely, Sean. Okay. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Look please, at him. Please come to the boat. Look at him. It's whenever I touch his tail here. Okay. I got him. Oh, I don't have him. <laughs> I did have him. I got him. Okay. You got him? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> okay, I want my lure back now. I don't think so, buddy. Yeah, that's, he's a beauty. Oh, and it looks like he's starting to have that hook, eh? More than the last one. There you go. Yeah, it's a little more prominent on him, eh? Being this is your first salmon that you've landed yourself, I think we better get a picture of this fish. What do you think? Sure. That's cool. Okay. CPR. Brought to you by Nikon Digital Cameras. All right, say, say salmon. Salmon. Big awesome. smoke. That's a beautiful fish. Hey, baby. <laughs> I don't believe you did that. I got it. Okay. God. We got it. Okay. You know, kissing Sam is not that bad. Kind of reminds me of some of the northern men, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we get this worthy opponent back in the water? One good thing about a bay like this is that they don't get beaten up like they do when they run up the rivers. These fish generally they'll start to turn color once they're out in the lake just right. prior to coming into the bays. These fish that we're hitting here today are probably hitting out of reflex more than out of hunger. You see along the shoreline here plenty of places you can come down and cast right off the shore using exactly the same baits we're using today. There he goes. It's time now for the Angler's View brought to you by Bole H2 Optics. Sylvie's salmon came out of 12 feet of water in the main channel, adjacent to the harbor entrance. 
The deeper water in the main channel offers security to the cruising fish. Sean observed deep weed lines along the shoreline leading into the shallows. As the sun rose, many salmon appeared to be cruising very close to these edges. It is very important to be on the water prior to first light to successfully hook and land these post-spawn fish. Low light allows the salmon to cruise the open water, making them susceptible to a well-presented lure. Cast areas repeatedly. These fish are constantly on the move. You will often need to put your bait right in front of a fish's face to get bit. Vary retrieval speeds until you find a productive pattern. As the sun got higher, the action slowed dramatically. At times like this, Sean will target pike in shallower, weedy areas of a bay. Productive spots can be where deeper water tapers up onto weed flats. Target empty docks that display weed growth. Structure that offers deep weed edges, pockets or shade from the midday sun can produce fish. Try slowing your presentations down at this time of the day as pike can be fairly lethargic and will not move far for a bait. Productive baits for post-spawn salmon are glow-in-the-dark spoons and jointed shallow-running crankbaits. For fall pike, include crankbaits, soft plastics, spinner baits, and jerk baits. Air temperature today was 7 degrees Celsius in the morning, reaching a high of 15 degrees Celsius. Surface water temperatures were 51 to 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Weather conditions were sunny with light winds. Water clarity was stained in the harbor entrance and clear in the back bays. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website. Well, Sylvie, my dear, it's sort of, uh, sun's getting a bit bright. It's getting warm, actually. Yeah, yeah it know, must be, because you're calling me my dear. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Like, maybe you should take off that jacket, buddy. <laughs> I wasn't calling you such nice names at 5 o'clock this morning. Oh, God. What do you say we go was... in and try for some of them pike I was telling you about? Oh, God, that'd be cool. All right, we're going to change up uh, some baits. I'm going to take my jacket off, and we'll go give it a shot. Fun. Oh, yeah, nice. You caught me off guard there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's a nice one too. He's a nice one too. Yeah. They're just, they're biting awesome, eh? They hit pretty hard, didn't yeah, they? they did. Yeah, they did. He was a good hitter. Unbelievable, eh? Like, we're out there fishing for salmon one minute. The beauty of these places is, is like I said, we're out there, we're fishing for salmon. We come back in the bay here, you got a good shot at some of these guys. Some spinner baits, some jointed, jointed plugs, and jerk baits. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, did you get one? Again? You did. What's going on here? I actually thought that we'd be probably fishing for tires and cans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so surprised I caught a fish. People think that. Uh, because they live, you know, near a city that uh, there's there's no fish in this lake. I think he's. Uh... All right. Oh, look okay. at him. Keep the line roughly where it is, and right. we'll swing him in. Whoa! He's still got a little life in him. I'll grab him right here. There we go. Nice little pike. Let's get him back in the water. All right. Whoa! There he goes. Oh, nice. This yeah, is I'm a gonna nice turn, one. And I turn us around here. All right. Hey, you know what? This is really starting to uh, get a little crazy. Oh, look at that. Is it bigger? Oh, yeah, he's nicer. Oh, yeah. Bring him this way if you can. All right. Let me see if I can get a handle on him. He's pulling drag on you. Yeah, yeah. There we go. He's okay. Yeah, I'm going to grab him. I got him. I don't have him. Whoa, he's got some life in him still. He does. So, uh... When are you going to start fishing? I know. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. What we've been doing is, uh, whoa, he's got a lot of life. I'm going to grab my glove. It's going to make life a little easier here. I think that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> <Good idea. laughs> okay. There we go. That's better. I've got a bit of a grip on him. I'm going to get this hook out of here. There we go. Perfect. Let's get a... Look at that. That's awesome. I can't believe the amount of pike that we've been catching today. The amount of pike you've been catching today. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I have yet to boat one, I think. I want to thank Sylvie for coming on the show. You've been a great guest and a lot of fun to be with. Keep an eye out for Sylvie, actually. She's going to be performing all over Toronto and uh, Canada, in fact, actually. So thanks again, Sylvie. Thanks. Say goodbye to your buddy here. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week on Urban Outdoor Adventures. What an awesome day.
There he goes. See, he loves me. He wants to stay. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Perfect.